please welcome Mr. Van McTavish. Good afternoon. My name is Pierre Van McTavish, and I represent the Super Vacuum Company. As you know, the Super Vacuum Company is a multinational organisation leading the way with vacuum cleaning solutions. We at the Super Vacuum Company are at the very forefront, the cutting edge of vacuum cleaning technology. As you're also aware, our wonderful company, the Super Vacuum Company, is threatened by spurious allegations that threaten to undermine and ruin the reputation of this wonderful company. It has been suggested that we at the Super Vacuum Company have, since the initial incident nearly one year ago, have avoided public and media scrutiny. Well, as you can see, I stand before you, open and willing, to you, the media gallery, here to explain our side of the story. I'll begin first by expressing our sincere condolences to the grieving families of the dead. We at the Super Vacuum Company, that created the Super Vacuum Vacuum Cleaner, share their pain. We will also have it known that we are no way responsible for those deaths. You, the media, have a lot to answer for. You have distorted the facts so that we in the Super Vacuum Company have had our reputation tarnished and we are subject to your misinformation. That's why I'm here today to hold this press conference to explain the facts. And the, fra the facts are as follows. In November of last year, just a week after our wonderful, fascinating product, the Super Vacuum Vacuum Cleaner, was released to the globe. A Mr. John Jeffries, a middle-aged man in Alberta, Canada, spilled milk on his kitchen floor. Mr. Jeffries chose, instead of wiping that milk up with a cloth, chose to use our wonderful, fascinating, super vacuum, vacuum cleaner to suck up that milk, knowing that our renowned, state-of-the-art, industrial strength sucking action with its displacement bars and its state-of-the-art nanometer turbocharged technology can, with consummate ease, suck up 25 billiard balls into the dust bag, which, by the way, comes in 24 colours and designs, including tar. <laughs> You'll also know that vacuum cleaners are designed to pick up grit and dust and breadcrumbs and billiard balls, not milk. And as a consequence, Mr. John Jeffries was electrocuted. In fact, since the release of our wonderful product, 68 people have been electrocuted. Don't get me wrong. We at the Super Vacuum vacuum cleaning company are deeply, deeply and sincerely regretful that our super vacuum vacuum cleaner has been put to use as unintended. As you also are aware, we the super vacuum company have been attacked by a lawsuit claiming hundreds of millions of dollars. Further, our wonderful product has been forced off the market after baseless allegations that our product is in some way dangerous. Media Gallery, we care about the people. We put people first, which means that's why we're going to fight these baseless allegations. In short, we at the Vacuum Cleaning Company have, uh, are not taking any responsible for the 68 people who, 69 people who have died. <laughs> <laughs> I am now answer your questions. Uh, any questions, please? 
Is the company willing to pay? Oh, excuse me, sir. Who are you? What I, company do you represent? I I work. I'm the lawyer for one of those 69 people who have died. Yes. What's is your the, question? Sir, is the company prepared to pay compensation to the victims? No, no way. We don't think we're responsible. Any other questions? Yes, sir. I'm from the Wolders company. We are a competitor. Yes. How is it possible that a reputed company like yours is not giving any warning sign on your manual not to use for sucking liquids for such an important item that operates on electricity? We figure that our people, if they're intelligent enough to buy our product, they're intelligent enough not to use our product to scoop up milk. We think we're actually doing the world a favour if people are going to die like flies if they're silly enough to suck up <laughs> liquids without <laughs> packing cups. By making this comment, you are, you are giving the impression to the people who are buying that they're stupids. I'm giving the impression what? That the buying people are stupids because you expect only intelligent people to buy. Yes, well, as I say, the, this, if the stupid people buy it, we're not going to hold responsible for I mean, if someone wants to jump off a cliff with a vacuum cleaner, are they responsible? No. There are many <laughs> ways you could die with a vacuum cleaner. <laughs> I guess that's not a correct analogy for this one, and your responses are not coming in a very responsible way for taking responsibility. Well, I think we, we're taking responsibility. We'll have to disagree with any other questions, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Steve Johnson from uh, the Super Super Vacuum Vacuum Cleaner Company. Oh. Obviously, one of your um, chief competitors. He, um, I want to know how is this machine at the cutting edge? In what way is it at the cutting edge? Is it because because we can soak up the century in terms of deaths? No, because we can soak up 25 billion volts. No other vacuum cleaner can do that. I stand. If you need to show me another one, we'll give you a 10% discount on our own product. That's it. Uh, it was yeah, Mr. Speaker, uh, I'm representing one of the groups which I can't tell you now. I'm sorry. But then uh, the, my question is you say on one hand that you care for people. Yes, on the other fair hand, deeply. And on the other hand, there have been 68 dead, and you say that you are not responsible for that. In today's technology, can you not bring in something which can even stop the electrocution? If, uh, so uh, you, you don't realize the fact that we make considerable profits from our company. If we are going to be sued, $100 million, we could go bankrupt. The taxes we pay can easily pay for to save the lives in hospitals of far more than 68 people. So, life, so we're doing the world a service. But I think the life of people <laughs> is most important. That comes. That's to right. We're saving money. lives every time we donate tax to the government. That's what we do. It's unbelievable. So on one hand, 68 people have died, and you are saying that you are saving life, and on, you're not even caring for people. It's called collateral way. damage, sir. It's called I collateral damage. And I have to close it there. Thank you very much. Thank you.